great American game. And the fans in the stands way back then, in the good old summertime, how they would have welcomed the refreshments so popular at soda fountains. Take Me Out to the Ball Game was the hit song of the day. And what a hit the great American drink would have made with those fans. The answer, of course, was putting the product in bottles. In bottles, the great American drink could reach people everywhere. Early bottling plants were small, and the bottler was often his own one-man production crew. Sometimes he enjoyed the luxury of a helper for the laborious process of cleaning the bottles. The heavy sleeves and apron, the stout gloves, the catcher's mask. These afforded needed protection. Filling a bottle was a hazardous undertaking. At this step of the process, almost anything could happen. was a one-horse business. But unlimited opportunities lay ahead. In bottles, the great American drink could go anywhere. 